Does my child have asthma? Or if your child is coughing, how do you know if your child actually has asthma? As a pediatrician, I get asked all the time by parents, does my child have asthma? Or if my child has been coughing a lot after every basketball practice, is it time to think about asthma and what to do? In this video, we're gonna go over four clinical features of asthma that you should know as a parent so you can look out for them if you're questioning and wondering if your child has asthma. So stay tuned. Hello everybody, it's Dr. Eileen here. I'm a board certified pediatrician and on this channel, I go over some of the most commonly discussed topics in pediatrics so that you as parents can walk away feeling more empowered. As aforementioned, asthma is one of the most common conditions that I see and treat as a pediatrician. It is very prevalent in children. About 10% of the population have asthma. That goes for adults as well. And studies have shown that of all the children who have asthma, only about 60% of them may be seeing a doctor being treated for asthma. So that goes for 40% that are not even treated or maybe are not even aware that they have asthma. Because asthma can be a chronic condition, if you're not being properly treated, it can affect your child's activity level because when they're active, they may be coughing so much that they try to avoid activities altogether. It can affect their sleep, it can affect their study and their attention span, and it can definitely affect their overall health. So I always make it a point to really talk to my parents about their symptoms so we can dig into them and figure out exactly what kind of medication regimen that their child needs. And that medication regimen can vary from season to season and from age to age. So instead of overwhelming you with everything you know about asthma, I'm going to break this topic into several smaller segments. In this video, I'm gonna cover the clinical features that you two need to know if your child has asthma. And please refer to my other videos about the diagnosis, treatment, risk, and causes of asthma so that you can feel more empowered and really truly understand how to tackle asthma together with your child. Number one of the clinical features of asthma is a cough. So cough can be a dry cough, sometimes it can be a wet cough. Usually cough is described as episodic, so it's not ongoing, but it can come at, in episodes. Sometimes in several bouts during the day, sometimes in the middle of the night. Sometimes you can hear your child cough really hard right after basketball practice or after soccer practice. Whenever they've been very active, that is the time you may hear that dry, episodic, and spasmodic cough right after activity. However, cough can also be happening at nighttime. You might hear them coughing in their room several nights a week. Um, sometimes you can hear them coughing during the day, kind of in sporadic uh, episodes. So listen for a cough. By the way, if you found anything that is valuable in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified for my next video. The second clinical feature of asthma is wheezing. Wheezing is described as a high-pitched noise that comes from air moving in the airway. So why is a high pitch? Well, I kind of describe asthma as an obstruction of airflow because there may be inflammation, there may be mucus, uh, there may be hypertrophy of the lining of the airways. Many reasons that cause your airways to narrow instead of being super wide, they become more narrow. So think of this as blowing air through a straw. If you're blowing air through a big straw, you're gonna make a wispy noise and it's not so loud or high pitch. But if you're blowing air through a very narrow, narrow straw, then you might be able to hear more high pitched noise. In the same way, when your child has asthma, their airways are narrowed. So when they're trying to move air out of their lungs, in and out of their lungs, you can hear that high pitched wheezing noise. Not oftentimes you can hear wheezing though, just through the native ear. Oftentimes, Wheezing is something that doctors and clinicians pick up when we're listening with a stethoscope so we can pick up those fine noises. You can sometimes hear wheezing if they're just breathing very hard. So I have seen it happen. So if you are wondering if your child is wheezing and making that really noise, go and ask your pediatrician. The third clinical feature of asthma is chest tightness. 
Now, if your child is very young or they're not really able to describe what they're feeling, expect chest tightness to come in several ways. So they may come to you saying, I have a stomach ache because it's right in the same area. They may feel like they just tell you they can't breathe or they may say there's pressure, it feels really heavy in the chest or sometimes they can just say that it hurts generally up here. So be aware that chest tightness may present in different ways. In older kids, when you have chest tightness, they may tell you that my chest feels tight and I can't breathe. I can't take a full breath or I'm not getting oxygen. I don't feel relief when I take a deep breath. So chest tightness, we know is one of the hallmarks of asthma because in asthma, there is some obstruction to the airflow in the airway. So when they feel that they can't move the air, they may tell you that there is tightness of the chest. The fourth clinical feature of asthma is shortness of breath. So in a very young child, when they have shortness of breath, you can literally see this. You can see that they're breathing really fast, taking very shallow breathing, and if you're sitting next to them, you will feel that they are moving air a lot faster than you. Um, in older children, when they have shortness of breath, they're just trying to breathe real hard. They don't feel comfortable. They may tell you that they have chest tightness or they just feel like they can't get enough air. So that is also a very concerning sign when your child has asthma, when they come to you with shortness of breath. Also, I want you guys to look at your child when they're sick with a viral cold or when they may be having an asthma, how they're working to breathe. If your child is breathing very fast or very hard, that means you see sometimes accessory breathing muscles working. So generally, if I'm breathing, I don't have to use these muscles, these super sternal muscles to breathe. But if I'm having asthma and I'm doing everything I can to pull the air in, I might have to engage those accessory muscles of respiration. Sometimes you can also see their belly flare out and flare in, flare out and flare in. And also, they may just be breathing pretty fast and seems very unsettled. They're moving around, restless, and they're not staying comfortably long enough because they can't get enough of a deep breath in. So there you have it, the four clinical features if your child has asthma. Remember, this video is meant to be educational, it's not diagnostic. So if your child is exhibiting any of these symptoms, definitely make sure to bring them in to see your doctor or pediatrician. Again, thank you guys for tuning in today. I'm Dr. Eileen. Be sure to check out my other videos on asthma to complete the whole series so you can understand more about this very complex condition and feel more empowered to be a parent.